Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So we did, uh, we talked to the photographer lady named Lotta Heart. That's a Lotta Heart. Um, I guess let's head to the precinct? Yeah, why not? Ah, it looks much more boring. What the fuck is that what in the, the background? What the hell is that? What? <laughs> I think we saw them at the exact same time. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. Hmm. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, you wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So you think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see you. <sighs> uh, uh, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Hmm. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. How come you trust Ed Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth <laughs> always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. <laughs> yeah, his methods not every time. Little... Yeah, not anymore. We broke his record. His methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. You gotta earn that trust he placed in us. But you've been wrong I see. three times now. In a row. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Hmm. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I made a copy for you. One bullet shot to the heart. Some time of death, sometime on the 24th or 25th. Jesus. Thank you. I guess if it was in the water for a while, I probably would muddle, muddy up the time of death. Mm. Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Huh. That face. Someone you know? I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere long ago. Hmm. Blank. Okay. Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. Okay. Uh, yep. <clears throat> All that's left is to go to Edgeworth, I guess. We've got to convince him. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Oh. I'm not in the mood for idle banter, right? <clears throat> Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? I can do it on my own. You did it on your own. Mm. Why not? <clears throat> Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth didn't did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick. <sighs> Alright, maybe we can come back now and she'll have 
I really hope she's not dead or something. Most likely not. Gord Lake Woods. Oh, thank God. Hey, y'all. Lana. Wait up a sec. We got a bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. You didn't have it set to use the entire roll this time? Huh. This is them. Take a look. Ah, shit. That doesn't help. Wait! See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It, it looks like that, yes. <clears throat> you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle Bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Hey! What? Are, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? <sighs> Never mind. You don't recognize the telecops? I reckon so. I reckon no. I reckon so. What's that? I don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Says the lady who says that she could wrestle me down to the ground for trying to sue her. Hey, so I want to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. But, wait, wait, Lada! Look, can y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Let's try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, with this, that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. Oh, god fucking damn it. I'll salute the south side of a northbound skunk and tell you. Lana! Well, let's get to your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, I'll be tomorrow. Well, that sums up me and Edgeworth, I guess. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone! Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot oh, darn. I can only hope. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Leak photo! <laughs> hmm. Ah! Looks like the police have given up their interview. Hey! What oh. the hell? Hello, Santa. Mall Santa. Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? <laughs> wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. No, D don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Oh, it's Larry. Larry Butts. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I'm working my day job? I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Kianse, deserves the best. Kianse, your fiancé. Oh my god. It hurts. But I love it. <laughs> Not another bottle, I Kianse? Hope. Not another bottle, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear the costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That... That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute! Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... what? N no, she's not! I'm his partner, Maya Fay. I'm a little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister? I mean... No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. She kind of is like our little sister at this point. She just yeah. hangs around bugging us for food. <laughs> huh. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Alright. What happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Hmm? I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's it's just 
Fiance is not in town right now. She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. It is another model. Okay, it's another model. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick. How do they know it? Then? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa! Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, they all grew up together, dingbat. Yeah, of course! Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school! What? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. <laughs> tell me about the dogs! Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name or you and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't even get enough of those samurai dogs. Um... Something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? <clears throat> the big news? Yeah! Gordy! The Gordy? Ugh. Larry showed him over. <laughs> you haven't told her about Gordy. Nope. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Oh, he wanted to be a defense lawyer. Oh. Wow, wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? No, no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Uh... Nick? Uh, uh, the uh, incident uh, at the academy. <laughs> um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. A uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. Here's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Uh, no. No. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, just like an explosion, followed by the sound That's of something arm. slipping. In You're right. Oh, I shit. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. So, yeah, we've got something here. What I'm starting to think happened is that the original murder happened during the day over then... And then later, they framed Edgeworth at night to make it look like that happened instead. That's what it's starting to seem like, at least. What's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Oh, God, yeah. Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well... Oh, wait. Maya said she had seen him before, didn't she? 
Look What's that you gonna tell us? It's a camera. Take pictures with it. Ah! Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Of course I know! Hey, you're, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate! I was talking about that weird contraption on the camera. Oh, that. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, don't go showing me it then! Jeez! Alright. Nothing else we can do here. Let's check the boat rental, see if anybody else shows up. Nope. nope. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, she's gone. All you can do now is go back to the detention check center. One more time. Oh, we are supposed to go here. Yeah. Hmm. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. Out of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Is that Winston Payne back there? I don't... This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. Wah! Gord Lake! Gord, he's sighted! I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more important? <laughs> oh, can I actually hey. look at this? Is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger! It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Um, The blue look. badger. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. Blue That's the police officer is in in a badger. What? The blue badger. Badge like the officer's oh, badge, and he's blue God like the outfit. The <laughs> uniform. These are the detectives' test. Test. Uh, their computers are files in each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Or they're very neat about it. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Move into the crowd. Wear trap clothes. Never enter the target's field of vision. He must be doing image training for trailing. Huh, according to the time over there, it's like about one o'clock. Yeah. Alright, nothing else we can do here except for the tension center. Oh, he's oh. not here. Shit. So I guess go back to the offices and she's gonna remember. <clears throat> What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Can you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! I remember now! This guy! He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. Oh, shit. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait! You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. <clears throat> still missing the painting, still I see. Missing. <laughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, your Mia's something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you, and you, your Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. You're kinda weird, dude. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Wait. Oh, oh. Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging there until recently. Oh, what happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. They gave it some romantic interest. Love Bloom's turtleneck. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. 
Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Alright, well, we'll finish this up in the next one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.